afternoon, everyone. First and foremost, I would like to start by saying that I don't like speeches. I know what you're thinking. It's not that I'm shy or that I don't like talking to people. There's just something about having to plan out exactly what I want to say. And according to Weingarten tips on being a good public speaker, when to look up. And then to present that on stage in front of a whole bunch of people, it all just seems weird to me. Like I said though, it's not about my ability to talk to people. I'm sure if you ask my peers, they can tell you that I'm actually a pretty social person. My closer friends would tell you that I can tell a pretty good story. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell my story. I walked into Gantt nearly eight years ago as a little fifth grader, and I was super excited to explore this new world and experience some new adventures. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I don't remember my first day of fifth grade, and I actually don't remember most of middle school. But I do remember the good stuff. The kids locked in lockers, the drop computers, the baby chicks, and Miss Mann's prayers to her angels to get us through those days. I remember sixth grade how-to projects and tears to baits for my bees and choir. I came up though. Shout out to my alto concert choir section. I remember seventh grade movie times with Bankard and twin talks with Thomas. I mean, aren't twins just great? And from eighth grade, I remember the drama. But ninth grade opened us up to a new world. The opportunities Gantt has provided us with through our high school careers are unmatched. Gantt made us scholars. Now, if I could see your faces right now, I'm pretty sure a few of you are giving me that not me look, Aiden. But the truth is, we are all scholars. I mean, we're all here, aren't we? We're all graduating. We made it through hours of homework, most of which included getting through Hennessy's annotations. We got through four years of Henderson's extended explanations and Ruddick's sarcasm. Oh, and of course our time spent in their state-of-the-art labs. We conquered Mahalik's silence as he waited for us to answer questions. By the way, thanks Liam for really helping us out there and breaking the silence most of the time. We had the honor to be greeted by Ms. Smith's eagerness to teach, especially when we hit her with the, I can't do this, yet. And the many questions from our calculus crew. We've grieved together. We all faced the loss of one Christopher Larkin. No parents, he didn't die. He's just living it up far away from here. And there's no way we could have made it through without the tender, motherly guidance of Mrs. Maurice, who somehow managed to, under a Spanish curriculum, teach us Spanish, history, and music theory. So let's thank them all. Gamp also made us musicians. We walked in day one and were thrown into a choir period. So yup, we can all sing now. We aren't string them, but we all have potential. We have had the opportunity to be Miss RJ's boo-boos and Mr. Rutland's headaches, the ones he cherishes the most though. Gamp has made us into violinists, trumpeteers, cellists, flautists, clarinetists, drummers, and literally everything else. But most importantly, a tuba player. We've had fun marches down Broad Street and sing-alongs with famous people. Bates played a huge role in making us actors and actresses. Sometimes she was a bit scary, but hey, we made it through. And we definitely all owe a big thanks to Mr. Holcomb. He has taught us how to play instruments, fix instruments, how to sing, and how to build and paint a set. Sure, then there's Carrera. Now that is my guy. Sure, he made us stand too much for warm-ups, but we gotta admit, that guy is pretty cool. Now, even though the music, music teachers hated the idea of GASP, Gerard Academic Sports Program, Gantt made us athletes. Cross country was my first sports seasons every year. And I love you, D, but man, do I not like that sport. The team was like no other, though. Our Gantt cross country team was big and full of some really good runners. But we also had amazing motivators, and the dedication was the best. I tried out for basketball in sixth grade because I could miss eighth period class. I tried out for softball because it was something to do. And now, I kind of love them both. But I can stand up here and admit that I don't think I was that good at them. I was no all-star point guard with crazy handles or a big score, and I definitely was no home run hitter. But Henderson's both spoken and unspoken leadership has made me more than just a basketball or softball player. I haven't mastered my three-point shot, but I'm a much better communicator. I haven't mastered my swing and I didn't catch every ball. But I have learned that a little encouragement can go a long way. Because Lord knows, a Gimp softball dugout is definitely like no other. 
They are the loudest and the proudest. I mean, have you heard Sidney yell? So I'm gonna miss losing my voice at games and meets. I'm gonna miss watching Henderson shake his head every time I approach him with a new injury and listening to DeFelice give us dietary advice. I'm gonna miss it all. Gib has played a huge role in making us the people we are today. But I can't stand up here and give all the credit to the faculty and staff inside that building. Our true backbone lies, lies outside of there, our families. So I need all of you to take the time to look at those surrounding you now and think of those who have tuned in from their own homes and just give thanks. I thank God for blessing me, blessing me with the life I've been given and I thank him for giving me the supporters I have. To my grandma and grandpa, I thank you for raising me as a child, for always encouraging my success and always allowing me to have a home to come to. To my mom, thank you for believing in me in ways that no one else can. To my dad, thank you for showing me the true definition of tough love and always pushing me to get that A and encouraging me to train and be better. To my stepmom, thank you for being a mom to me, for investing your time in my future because without you, I don't know that I'll be on the path that I am going, going Ivy. To my twin sister, thank you for just being you, for being that competitor I needed to keep me going and motivate me to work in and out of school, in sports and in life. To my mom, thank you for always telling me how proud you were of me and inspiring me through your strength and struggles. I hate that you can't be here with us to see your girls on top, but I know you're watching over us from above. And lastly, I give thanks to everyone else. My herd of aunts, uncles, siblings, grandparents, cousins, all of you mean the world to me. Now, I think the people that in a perfect world will be sitting behind me on this day, the class of 2020. Every one of you have crept into my life and in a sense became my family as well. We have been through too much together for that to not be so. Like all families, we weren't perfect. We've had heated arguments and dealt with broken friendships, but we have also laughed together and cried together. We have been able to lean on each other through the best and worst times of our lives so far. Some of us will walk away from GAMP and lose the connections we have made over the years. Others will walk away with friendships that will last a, life, last a lifetime. Shout out to my Judax crew. We all have different career paths and life goals, and we have the capabilities to do it all. But we all have this one thing in common. We will carry these last four years with us for the rest of our lives and be able to proudly say that we were part of the class of 2020. Sure, our year was cut short because of a pandemic, and we don't get to walk across the graduation stage together. But this is something we all went through together. We're all gonna move on. We're all gonna face difficulties and our current experiences make us that much more prepared for the future. So today we do graduate. Today we put on our cap and gowns and we will move our tassels. Today we will put high school in our past and take a step into our future together. So inspired by our amazing principal, I say to you all, bye bye for now.